don't know. Be. Did I ever tell you that uh, they actually proved that the plagues happened? Really? How'd they prove that? Uh, they figured out based on tectonic evidence that a volcano erupted and in fact did turn the Nile red with the sulfur. Oh, that's so cool. Which, that that should impact some people theologically, I think. Like, was Moses an emissary of God and God was like, hey, this volcano is going to blow up. Let's go make the most of it. Or was Moses a geologist, you know? Mm. And then, like, all the sulfur in the water, well, frogs can't be in the water, so they got to get out. That's another plague right there, you know? The Nile being flooded with sulfur is going to affect crops, so locusts got to find a new place to eat. That's another plague. Are, um, are frog warts really that bad? I've never had one. I've never had one either. I don't know. I've had this wart on my hand since, for like, a couple of decades now. Uh, and I don't know if it's frog-related. Well, I um, I've held many frogs in my day, oh, and toads. Uh, I've held some toads too. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of looking it up right now because I'm very okay. They can okay. They are toads. They give you warts, but like, you know how in that one movie with all the music and it was like really bad that they had warts and stuff. No. You know what I'm thinking of. The, the the movie we watched it recently with Aaron. Um, Prince of Egypt. Thank you, goodness. <laughs> of all of the things to remind me of Prince of Egypt, why would you go with the movie with the music and the warts? <laughs> You got it, didn't you? As though you wouldn't mention the plagues we were already discussing. <laughs> oh, no. Big ol' Herbo. Oh, gosh. Alright, I am ready. <laughs> now that we've fucked around enough. I stand here today to read the Gospel of God. Anyone may gather and listen, but regardless of an audience, I shall speak his word. Today we read from the Testament of Seen. It's good. In the, beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, there was nothing. With the absence of light within that nothingness, there was only darkness. I object. In nothing, in nothing there is no form. There is no sight. There is no being. The darkness was nothing, yet it was everything. For nothing truly existed. But in the nothingness, there was the whole of everything. Kind of talking in circles here, huh? Mm. It was this perception shift that led the existence of everything, when nothing realized it was everything. And thus we began to see. The eye of seeing perceived itself first. Are you it the same thing I am? Yes. Did it just get really sexy in here? Yeah, it did. Wow, what the hell is this game? Ooh. I just kind of want to enjoy it for a second, honestly. <laughs> is this like a Hosier song? <laughs> You can't see, but I'm doing a little little dance here. If only. Come on, you can do a little dance too, don't you? Can't you? You don't know that I'm not. I guess I'll just have to wait. You will. Wow, this is really nice. Okay, they're getting a good review for the music alone. If nothing else, yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just, I want to listen to it. <laughs> there are better, uh, there are better places to listen to this, though. We should definitely listen to it, like, on its own, not in this game. Uh, I guess. I was hoping the audience would listen to it. Anyway, I witnessed for the first time the sun of everything. Some. I saw nothing but perceived everything. 
It had the foresight to understand it needed to rely, relay what it's what is seen. It focused, giving a form to its vision. The form emerged from nothing. The darkness latched onto it. Existence was given birth. It was seen and perceived. An existence proved to be infectious. Two pure beings were perceived into reality, opposing and reflecting the other. On one side they attracted, on the other they repelled. Magnets? It too was latched in two by the darkness. He was kind of losing me, but it's segueing into like kind of Gnosticism, you know? Yeah. From here, existence was seen and accepted as reality. It became normal. From normalcy grew rules that govern all of existence. Growth was produced. It became life, and life is uncontrollable. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thoughts? Uh, quite the sermon. Quite the sermon. I felt something. He does that every day. You know what? I can't blame him. To this day, the eye of seeing appears to bestow a duty upon those who must perceive the importance of existence. And that is today's sermon. Of course, no one came today. No one but me is down here. But I am always glad to read his word. I continue to open my chapel to anyone who may walk in and listen. Have a good day, and may his presence be with each and every person. Boogie, oogie, woogie. Is it time yet? Built for times of emergency, I shall not touch it until the time comes. Okay. Any more... sermons? Okay. My sermon is done for the day. Man, okay. Man, this is a Gotta fucking hire video this game. guy. Gotta hire this guy for parties. How long was this man's sermon? It was daylight last time. I'm not entirely sure if it was. Was it not? Like, yeah, I feel like it's totally fucked up. Some gunk slides off the wall, dribbling onto the floor. Okay. Oh, wow, it's a city. That's beautiful. Okay. This is my favorite spot in the whole tunnel. The lights of the city are so distant, yet so warm. There's so many things I never got to experience. I wish I could participate in the pleasure of this world for a bit longer. But it's the end of days now, and I've given myself, myself up as a vessel to God. Still, this is one pretty view. One worldly delight I spoil myself with. Before I got here, my life wasn't that great. My parents weren't good. There's still so much beauty in the world. God's world is so beautiful, yet terrible. Well, what just happened? Huh? It's ahead, you. Babe. I recognize you. I think that's you. No, that's you. Okay. Hold on. Wait right there. I'll come on over to you. Oh, we're thought... in a drainage tunnel, of course. So we have to go around the middle. That's not a road we're walking next to. That's water. I don't go in here anymore unless I have to. <laughs> what the hell could possibly be in there? That religious maniac is like, nah, fam. I took a vow upon entering these tunnels that I would not step outside of them until God tells me to. And I plan to keep that vow. Yeah, I remember the story okay, of quarantine. 
Does it look like those hands are moving to you? I think it might just be the light flickering, probably. I, I think it's an intentional effect, though. I don't think that it's something that's just a weird trick of the light that's happening to you. I think it's something that is happening very intentionally to anyone playing this. Do you hear that? There's, like, sounds happening. Yeah. Weird ambiance. Oh, duh, it says water tunnel. What's in here? Nothing. Some corfete? Alright. Some cans. Won't let me touch them. Your turn, dear. Hey, come back. I really think that's him. Oh, it's me, Mole. Don't you remember me? Where are you going? Come back, please. What an odd choice. Oh, I guess one is, is verbal and one is internal. Oh, hence our confusion, of course. I guess you don't want to look at me anymore. That's okay. I don't blame you. After all... I did not press anything. <laughs> Oh, it's going, like, from one headphone to another. Oh, God. That's so fucked. I really wish I could have stayed in this world for just a bit longer. Oh, God. What is gonna happen? Are we gonna see things? Should I just go, or should I watch? I think you should go. Okay. There's a weird siren happening. Yeah, which is weird, because normally you would think that it's just his own craziness. But it's already too late for me. I need to get my shelter. It's the inside of the chapel. Okay. Yeah, it's that weird little thing with the paintings on the side. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that it would let me go back into the room, or maybe it would give me dialogue, which it did, so. Yeah. Oh, this if is If you're going to railroad here. the player, then at least give them an acknowledgement that, like, you know, the, the character is making a choice here. Right. God, like, the shadow is weird. It's like a sundial. Yeah, because, like, as Wooly said, I hate just talk as a, uh... I hate just talk as a plot point, but I love it as a gameplay mechanic. Oh dear lord, please give me strength. I've safely arrived at my shelter. I should take a moment to rest and collect my thoughts. There is no time for that more. You must head deeper underground and find my cradle. <laughs> God's Cradle? What is that? God, are you there? What do you mean by your cradle? And I've never ventured down these tunnels before because you told me to never venture into them. Why am I to do so now so suddenly? God, please answer me. Please? I guess I shall follow his word. Though we only just got to the shelter. We? Why the rush? I guess he means all we? of us. Oh, I guess so. We, the players. Yeah. It's a spare golden cross I crafted from the gold spare I brought from my... Li How much liquidated assets did he have? I mean, he appears to live in a pretty big city, and if he could, like, make rent in there, and he just burnt everything. Mm. If this whole living thing doesn't work out, let's go into the sewers and live like rats. No, let's go to the forest or the mountains or something. Why is it always the sewers with you? <laughs> I'm an alien. 
You're gonna see like an open drain or something. I'm gonna have to grab you around the waist to stop you from diving in. I like just get down on all fours and start running. Just start snorting as well. <laughs> I crafted from the gold I bought for my liquidated assets. I made it just in case something ever happened to one of the crosses in my chapel. Like some hooligans came and stole it. A toilet I installed in case of emergencies. Well, yeah. Emergencies that's like your body continuing to function. Miscellaneous cans and tools I keep. But what is with this guy? And some cans. How is he going to keep food for a couple thousand years? If you're going to sit, stay in a shelter for an extended period of time, you need something to do. I like reading. I find it to be quite engaging. Trash can for the waste. It's a ladder. Never know when you're going to need one of these. It's a JPEG of a WWE ladder. Oh, you literally can't go past that without having to save. Yeah. All right, Alfred. Do you want to enter the hole? Let's enter the hole. If this is God's will, then I shall see it through. Even if I do not understand. God, why do I have to cut this thing off my dick? And God was like, shut up, it's better than your son, right? Alright, back to the hole. Mm. Graffiti of an open mouth. Okay, so that was graffiti. Well, I feel glad that it's not an actual mouth. One of the things is gone. What? There were two shadows in this room, remember? You could stand behind one and let your eyes glow through. One of them is not in here. Um, well, this is actually not the shadow that was there before. The shadow that was there before had more form. You're right. Also, I have two shadows, if you just now noticed. Well, there are two lanterns. Mm. Um. <laughs> hmm. Deja vu. Yeah. I mean, there's some evidence of human interaction with this place. Creepier without the shadowman. Yeah. Well, because now that we're in a post Shadowman society, you know, you're like, well, there were Shadowmans. Oh, God. Something's going to grab me. The music stopped. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I got scared. <laughs> Boy, I wish you had your face cam on. I don't like this idol. <laughs> I was gonna try and make like a K-pop joke or something, but like, I don't have it in me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, you just have to search for it. Darling. How much are you willing to give for God? How much effort can you put out for him? Mmm. Can you put out for God? Would you put out for God? Mm. No. What if it was like Selena or, or Hercules? No. Oh, God. Can you hear this? Yeah, it's like... Well, Beautiful. I want to say it's like Fallout music, but... That's all another thing. Make a prayer every night before you sleep. Go to church every day once a week. Wait, every day once a week? That's kind of... You... Every day once a week. I guess opposed to every other week, okay? Contribute financially to the church. Make sacrifices to be on his good side. I don't see anything abnormal from our normal church here. Spread the word to others, infect them with his word, yeah? Pretty standard. Think about him. Speak of him. Be committed to him. Time to crusade. Do not stray. Dedicate your life to him. You say you do it for him. But do you really? 
Have crusades been a thing for longer than they haven't been? I feel like that might be the case. Perhaps. Ooh, look at Armadillo. There have been a lot of crusades. Of what? Is this an armadillo? I. It's probably a chameleon. It's green, right? Oh, maybe it is. Chameleons don't usually stand on their two back feet, though. Yeah, but they can. They actually have um, appendages similar to thumbs. Did you see that? Yeah. Didn't like oh. that one bit. It is. Is it not for yourself you do these things? Finding answers to fill the parts of you that are filled with... Uh, to fill the parts of you that are empty or shredded with scars. Replacing a personality with fate? Boy, I know some people. We all, we all know someone like that. <laughs> is this really you or just who you think you have to be? Are you scared to be true? Or is the greatest truth promised in writing enough to satisfy your need for purpose? Do you deflect what I say as blasphemy or another trial of your faith? Then keep on following God's plan he's conveniently laid out just for you. Oh my god, I feel like, I, like there's something behind me. I'm getting creeped out. Yeah, I keep checking over my shoulder. So do I. My lights just flickered because the electricity is terrible in this place. Yeah. And it kind of freaks me out. And the Wi-Fi. Yes, yes, and the Wi-Fi. Most video oh, issues are... Up. Oh my god, the, that's where the fucking 50s music is coming from. It's a period accurate jukebox. It's a cold fucking wind on my neck, and the vent is way over there. Is it 50s music? It sounds kind of like it, but it might just be gospel, which hasn't evolved past the 50s very much. Like You know what? I, li music. I like gospel, but I do not like uh, like church like rock music. Like, God rock and stuff. Yeah, Christian rock sucks. But you know what? But, like, gospel, like, traditional, like, choir gospel is really pretty. Yeah, but I'm not afraid to say that Christian rock usually sucks. Oh my god, it sucks so bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's even working. I don't know how it's even working, in fact. Oh, thank you. The, the song the jukebox is playing makes you a bit uncomfortable. Boy, does it. What makes you special? And how? God made us all in his image, after all. If we're just faint projections of a greater being, why do we matter at all? Because he tells us we matter? Because we are to serve him? Do you so desperately seek God's approval? Are you that committed to being good? Do you want to be a good boy for God? I, I feel uncomfortable. For like God, but like no, no, no. I feel like 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 someone's trying to like make sexual advances at me, but like they're not good at it. Yeah. Good for God. Good for God. Good for God. Good for God. And it continues. Why don't you be good for you? You know what? Yeah. Good valid point. Well, if nothing else, this is easily the most fucked up image, like, uh, 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 easily the most fucked up episode of VeggieTales I've ever seen. <laughs> Ooh, the screen's moving funnily. Ooh, my eyes are so bright in this. Wee you, wee you. God, I want to open the locker so bad because it was an evil. Yeah. There might oh, be an herb Alfred. in there. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants right now. I get so scared. Oh. Dead end. My bladder is trembling. I don't like this. How do I? Oh, I don't want to go back, Alfred. No. Do it. Do it for Christian God. I'll do it for him. Do it for white Jesus. Oh, I do nothing for white Jesus. <laughs> what was that? Do it for the white Jesus no. who wants you to keep your guns. And pay less taxes. 
Alfred, I can't go out and nothing is letting me interact. Oh, yippee. Listen. Oh. I hate that. <laughs> One more time. Was... I didn't see a damn thing. God, is that you? <laughs> Let me pick up the pickaxe. Servant of God needs to defend themselves. Yeah, in the traditional dwarven way. Really, huh? What? Interesting. The, the song that just came on. Oh, yeah. It's like a Silent oh, Hell my... song. Yeah, it is. Is there a door up there? Look. Yeah. Was that there before? Ah, oh, son no. of a bitch. Oh. Sarah, we're in PT again. Oh, I guess I just got out of it. Okay. Aw. I feel like I kind of missed something because I got out of it too quick. It was the same area again, looping, though. Let's see if this notes is something new. There's so many dreams you've had to give up. This is new. This is the right way. So many desires left unfulfilled. You aren't being honest with yourself. Listen to your heart and not your soul. Go save again. Huh? Save again. There you go. Mine Chasm is the name of this area. Ooh, a cinder block. I love going deeper into this gaping chasm. Gaping's always a good thing to enter into. If anything's gaping, you should just dive in. I also like when something's yawning, you know? Like a big yawning void or chasm. Do you see background things in here? Uh, like mountains? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. Blech. Ugh, oh, yeah. Oh, this is a swollen armadillo. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they are. I don't like how she doesn't say anything about anything yeah. now. She's pretty quiet. Maybe she's freaked out like I... <laughs> uh... Huh? Wait, did you see the hands? No, I just saw the mouth. What the fuck? God, this isn't cool? I've got to deliver the... What? What? Oh lord, what is this creature? How am I to deliver this thing? God, please answer me. Don't leave me alone. What even is this? What am I to do here? Please give me something, oh lord. Bye! I have to keep going forward. Okay. A little, like... I don't know, a little... What are those? It's a little silkworm, baby! <laughs> Stop bringing up silkworms. A little silkworm! You're the baby I need to deliver, huh? What even are you? What am I even doing here? Fine, if it's God will. I guess I'll do what I can here. Yo, oh, I got a silkworm. There, there, little guy. What's your name? Well, I guess you wouldn't have one yet. I don't even know what you are or where you came from. But you're very soft. Soft like... A marshmallow. Mole, don't do it. Little marshmallow. That's it. That's what I'll call you. Little marshmallow. You're very quiet, you know that? 
very easy to hold as well. God has given both you and I a very important task, little marshmallow. I need to deliver you, somewhere or another. I guess our only choice is to continue onward and go deeper underground, huh? Okay. I'll take you wherever you need to go. Let's get a move on, little marshmallow. Well, it's getting to be about that time. Uh, yeah. Can you back out and save? Probably. Well, I was actually thinking we could do another episode after this, but you do need to cut it. Yes, um, I can do that. Uh, I've been Alfred, everyone. This has been... Well, you go. Well, and I've been Sarah, and this has been Take Care of Silk, Silk Baby Simulator. Uh, my hole is a mouth of dirt. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good day.